was your holiday season? Did Santa end up coming down your cavernous chimney? Santa hasn't been real for a while. Hello and welcome to your Geekly News, a look at the top nerd stories today. We are back from vacation. And I see you've managed to pull yourself off of the pool guy. So you managed to try and stop hating yourself. No, that's untrue. Still hate myself on the reg. In gaming news, Sony's PlayStation 4 console sold 5.7 million units during the holidays, which brings its cumulative tally to 35.9 million units sold. Uh, which, if you math, that's 5.7 million more than in November when they last announced PS4 figures. Along with console sales, Sony announced they've sold 35 million software titles from retail stores and digital downloads during the holiday season, as well as saw a 60% increase in subscribers to their PlayStation Plus service, even though it has been down a lot lately. Mm -hmm. But what of Microsoft and their Xbox One console? After all, the console wars are mostly between Microsoft and Sony, with Nintendo being a sluggish third contender. Well, Microsoft has been very vague and quiet about their annual earnings. There has been no overall sales figures released for the Xbox One since November of 2013, when they said they sold 10 million units. So close to saying the month properly. And for Nintendo, they've sold 10.73 Wii U units as of September 30th. <laughs> oh. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Nintendo, you oh. used to be so goddamn awesome. When's going to be your time, son? Admittedly, though, the Amiibos are kind of cool, and I wish I had jumped on that train early. <clears throat> you can't jump on a train without breaking it. One time I uh, saw a video of you having a sexual pornography train with 14 men. <laughs> I mean, I can multitask, I guess. Yeah, well, choo-choo. <laughs> You were the little train that could in that scenario, weren't you? Could and did. Mm. So staying on gaming news, Ubisoft has shown off the first look at the latest Assassin's Creed game. Yes, there's already another. And this time you'll be trying to take down the Templars in 19th century India. Now, not to be confused with the main series of the games like Black Flag and whatever it is now, they launched the Chronicle titles, which are more of a side-scrolling instead of open world game, saying that the gameplay in view is more 2.5D. You know, not quite 2D, not quite 3D. Starting with China last year and gaining positive reviews. Mm, we sent our correspondent Sam Bashor into the game to check it out. Sam, what are your thoughts? God, the fuck is Ooh, great stuff. Mm. Keeping with the theme of one game a year, Assassin's Creed Chronicles India will be out next week. Available digitally on Xbox One, PlayStation 4, and PC. No we there. <laughs> oh, we. You are like the little boy in the story about Christmas that broke his legs and is dying. Was that Tiny Bill or what's his name? That kid's dying straight up, right? <laughs> but he's still like, oh, Christmas is great. Now in movie news, the stunningly, painfully beautiful Emma Stone is being eyed to play the terrifyingly ugly aging Disney's 101 Dalmatians villainess Cruella de Vil in a live action spinoff of the 1961 animated film, which was then a live action film in 1996 and now being made again for some reason. Maude, I was really rooting for you to play the part of the horrible, ugly skeleton woman. You fit the character type so well. You're absolutely perfect for the part. And here I was getting used to you calling me a dog this whole time, but there you go, thinking outside the box. Speaking oh, of, uh, we need to have her spayed. You can't have her reproducing, not with that. The film will be called Corella, and it will focus around the puppy murderer in her younger years. Perhaps why she exactly hates dogs so much. Would want to murder them and make them into coats. Hold on, this is a Disney movie. Yes, yes? it sure is. The Hollywood Reporter states that the Oscar-nominated star of Birdman, Easy A, and The Amazing Spider-Man is in early negotiations to play the role. Typically, early negotiations means anything can happen, but seeing as how Maleficent was such a huge hit for Disney and Angelina Jolie, there's no reason for Stone to turn the role down, other than the obvious acknowledgement that our very own Maud Garrett is just perfect for the role of what would become the old, haggy, gross old lady. You wouldn't even need special makeup or CGI to transform my co-host here into a disgusting, lanky dog murderer. Oh, I have been dieting. Thank you for noticing. And finally, in trending news, if you're with Time Warner Cable and use the Roadrunner email service, chances are your personal information may be compromised. The emails and passwords of 320,000 customers may have been leaked, and the FBI has stepped in to work with TWC to control the situation. This is yet another reminder that living in the digital age is never secure, and you should have a different password for all accounts. Changing it every three months, sometimes washing your hands every day after you type in your password. I'd say three, four, 16 times in a row. 
it under a hot or cold tap, and also flip that light switch at least 13 times when you enter a room, and also pray to the god Ganesha, and make sure that he doesn't bless you with 13 rocks under your pillow on the Fortnite Desert Hams. Well spoken, well said. I couldn't have said it better myself. Sorry, I've been into some weird shit lately. During the holiday, I went on sabbatical and I slept in a cave for 13 days. I'm proud, I'm proud of you. I made love to a fish. But before we say goodbye this evening, make sure you're watching SourceFed Nerd tomorrow when this lump of Bantha fodder and I talk about Star Wars, The Force Awakens theories, news on Rogue One, and plenty more, live instead of Superhero Roundup at the new time of 2 p.m. PST. The show she's referring to is called FourceFed, and we can't wait to do it more for you. And don't forget, Nuclear Family has officially launched, and not one but two sketches are available for your viewing pleasure right now. So make sure you subscribe to our sketch comedy channel immediately since I star on the troll sketch, and really, I'm nothing short of amazing in it. And that's it for this week's edition of Geekly News. I'm Steve Zaragoza. And I'm Maud Garrett. And when we know, you'll know. <laughs> it was the fakest I... laugh I ever heard. I didn't miss you during Christmas. YouTube gamer Terry Garrett. Go Garrett! Set out on a journey five years ago to beat Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. While this sounds like a long time to beat a game, let's take into account that Terry is Line. In an interview with ABC about The Hateful Eight, the question went to the biggest movie of the moment and what his thoughts were since he was a senior member of the Jedi Council. No, I didn't miss you either. I was having a very good time. In fact, every time you're not around, my life gets better. Mm. <laughs> I agree.